Welcome to the Overgrowth Art Asset Overview. It's been a while since I did a video, so I have a lot of stuff to show. First up is this bridge level. David showed this off a little bit. It's a level designed to test some gameplay ideas for challenge levels. The scenario here is that you have your buddy um, that you have to carry to the other side of the bridge. Each section on the bridge represents a kind of a different challenge. So this first one is just where you have to stealth kill these guys, or you can ignore them. Pretty sure you can get through here without um, alerting either of them. Or you can fight them if you want. Because you're carrying this body, it doesn't work to just run across the bridge to win the mission. So that's one of the main reasons for it. But also, it uh, offers some unique challenges that I thought were kind of interesting. I don't usually like to design levels where there's one proper thing that you're supposed to do, but here it really does work best to lure this guy over and beat him up away from the other guards. I was pretty happy with how this final section came out because it leverages some of the unique dynamics of carrying around this physically active body in the game. Um, as David mentioned, unlike most games, the body here has a lot of heft and it can get stuck on things, so it really complicates the stealth portions. In this section, it's best to wait for these guys, and then try to get through without being spotted. I thought maybe I had enough time here to get to a better hiding spot, but uh, nope. This level's still too hard and a little bit simplistic, but I think it's a really good test case for levels that offer a variety of challenges that are a little bit more structured. In case you're wondering what the weird boxes on the bridge are supposed to be, they are modeled after this bridge in Florence called Ponte Vecchio, and those are supposed to be shops. I think the actual mission would take place at night, so they'd all be closed. I did a little sketch here to show what it might look like if uh, this level were more complete. So a while back I mocked up this UI screen to show what it might look like for when you're getting story information in the game. I wanted to work more on the story and really flesh out how it was going to work and so I started working on this idea where all of the dialogue in the game is going to be communicated using pictures instead of words or text. And so it went through a few iterations. The first ones were pretty bad, and so I kept adding more and more pictures until I felt like it made sense. Finally, I arrived at something that I think would work, and so that's kind of what you're seeing here. There have been some really great looking games that have come out recently that I um, have been looking at screenshots for, and so I wanted to try out some of the techniques that I saw other people using. So I built this level to test out some of these ideas. We're not really using the same uh, type of technology as some of these other games, but um, I can kind of fake it by using um, a lot of decals and with our tiling detail maps. It's easy to make one asset look like it's fairly unique. In fact, I just copied the exact same rock over and over and over again for this level. Um, 
If I was doing it for a real level, I would actually make some rocks. So here's another test level. I had some crazy ideas for challenge level concepts, and this one is that you're the high priest of this religion that requires blood sacrifice, and the more blood that you can sacrifice to your gods, the better. So here's your temple. It's inspired by um, the pyramids at Chichen Itza, where they would um, believe they would uh, push people down the stairs. I, uh, I tried that, and it didn't quite work. Um, although David has been changing some things, I might test it again. But I made this little slide down the center so that you can uh, force your guy down there and some obstacles for him to hit. Uh, no blood yet. And still a little hard to get your guy to push the body over the edge, but um, still kind of fun. Some of you might be disappointed that you've watched the video for this long and you haven't seen any new art assets. Oh, your wait's over. Check these out. Here are some huts that I made. They're pretty simple, but um, this is the first time I've designed a building with an interior. Um, Marcus's old china set had an interior, so I was pretty sure it would work, and I think it looks pretty cool. You can kind of smash these little huts together to make bigger huts, and probably make little towns if you wanted to. I made a new weapon too. Here is the staff. This is a pretty simple asset to create, so it didn't take me very long, but I was happy with how it came out. That's it for this supersized portion of the Art Asset Overview. Don't forget, you can pre-order the game at wolffire.com slash pre-order. Thanks.